out, sturdy guys. My name is Anime, and today I'm bringing you guys some kill confirmed on the map carrier using that beautiful diamond camoed Peacekeeper SMG, which is the new SMG that came with the Revolution Map Pack DLC for the Xbox. Coming soon, late February for uh, PS3, at least that I heard. I think it was the 28th is coming out for the PS3, something like that. But, um,. You know, when I first picked up this gun, I thought it was atrocious. It was horrible. I mean, I'm losing close quarter gunfights. I'm losing mid-range long uh, gunfights. I'm losing long-range gunfights. I felt this gun was very inconsistent. You know, I'd get a kill here and there, but you know, I put myself in the same position, and I'd still and I'll lose that gunfight every single time. Uh, so. You know, this gun wasn't for me. It was an SMG. Yes, I love SMGs, but it wasn't a gun for me. It didn't fit my playstyle. However, me being me, I wanted to get it to, you know, to diamond camo. Okay, so I started fiddling around with the attachments and the perk setups and stuff like that, and I found out the best way to make this or to use the peacekeeper as an smg as a true smg none of that assault rifle hybrid bullshit you want if you want to use the peacekeeper smg as an smg and not some fucking assault rifle hybrid bullshit then this is how you do it rapid fire now i i did a lot of research on the rpms and if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong or close to it anyways the uh base rpm for the Peacekeeper was about 700, 720, something like that, I'm not sure. Which is about, uh, if on par, if not worse, than the MP7, or not the MP7, sorry, the MSMC and the PDW57. Uh, which would explain why I'm losing gunfights to those guns up close, because they shoot faster. Uh, not to mention my, uh, the lower damage that the Peacekeeper has compared to the other SMGs. So, I snapped on rapid fire, and I was like, okay, so... Um, since I lose rapid, or since I lose range with rapid fire, let's try and take advantage of its range as well. So maybe I can do a, a better uh, close range, but still keep that mediocre uh, long range uh, benefit that the peacekeeper has. So I stopped the long barrel, and that didn't work. It didn't work at all. I thought it was fucking horrible. Well, okay, it wasn't horrible. It was uh, better than it was before, but it, was, it didn't fit. Still didn't fit my playstyle. So I took off long barrel and I put on uh, suppressor and laser sight. And I think this is the best combination that you could have with the peacekeeper if you want to use it as an SMG. Just go rapid fire, suppressor, and the uh, laser sight. Now, uh, with the, the suppressor and the uh, rapid fire, you lose a lot of your range benefits. So, pretty much this gun uh, is no longer good for the long range aspect. So, just throw that out the door. Forget that it's a long range gun or whatever, mid, mid to long range gun. It is now a full out close quarter gun. The rapid fire then boosts its uh, RPM up to 1150, I believe, which is just under the Scorpion, and I think. On par or just under uh, the vector. So this gun, I just by adding those attachments, this gun became probably one of my favorite SMGs to use, uh, just to dick around with. Of course, if I'm going super duper ham, I wish I'm not going to use this because uh, you know I get the same benefits uh, at, with that I do with a peacekeeper with a naked MP7 or a naked PDW57 or something like that, uh, where I don't have to have rapid fire on there. Uh, of course, uh, you, there's more. Uh, the recoil is increased because of the rapid fire, so you got to be careful with that. But it's not that bad because you're taking a gun that had a low recoil and making it moderate. And I, if I'm not mistaken, moderate to high recoil is what the SMGs have anyway. So really, you're having a close quarter, uh, pretty damn accurate uh, hip fire gun. And then, then when you throw one laser sight, you make it even more accurate. So uh, that's my suggestion. If you want to rush around with a the Peacekeeper SMG, you run those three attachments on it. Of course, you can fiddle around with it. If you don't want to use a uh, suppressor, you want to use something else, go for it. If you don't want to use laser sight, go for it, change it up, and uh, fit some, uh, find something that fits your playstyle. Because that's one of the things that I find when uh, people ask me what's the best gun to use. It all comes down to personal preference. You know, a lot of people would probably prefer using the, the long range benefit, but I don't. But, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave your comments, your ratings, and click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, Stay dirty.